guys. So it's shoot day today and it's all the makeup. All the makeup. So I'm just gonna go into the studio and get everything set up. Haven't been able to film for a while because of the construction going on outside. So this is all non-dialogue, non-audio pieces. Which is pretty fun actually, I quite enjoy doing that. It's a creepy theme type episode that I want to show you for the characters. I'm going to do a lot of contouring, like purples and blacks and, and that kind of thing. So I'm looking forward to doing that. I'm going to show you where I'm going to be hanging out for the next three days. And here is the uh, all the wardrobing and also uh, the makeups, the makeups, the makeup. Scripting down here. And that's my shot list there. Those are all the character pieces. And who's going to get filmed first? And the first character up is the Brie character. And here's her hair. Got the false eyelashes going. Guys, you never ever have to worry about false eyelashes. Gosh. Flat hair, flat. Yeah, so I have to make up my hair. And the quickest way to do that is to stick a whole heap of product in it. I remember one time, you know, I just uh, I auditioned for this, this TBC and it was for a um, big brand doing a breakfast cereal bar. Originally they wanted me to cut off all my hair, so I auditioned with long hair and they wanted me to cut my hair like that short so that I could uh, do this piece uh, to camera with really really short hair. And I went, no, and the director said, please, and I went, no, and the director said, please, please, and I went, no, 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 I'm not cutting my hair. And uh, anyway, <laughs> they chose for me to wear a wig instead. And the wig was cut like a bowl, like a bowl cut. And they said, oh, I've got this piece of freaking hair just tickling me. Anyway, they said to me, um, oh, uh, we don't want you to wash your hair for five days because we want your hair to be really nice and dirty so that the wig, the bowl, the bowl cut wig, you know, would sit, would sit really flat against my head because of like a wall of my hair. And I went, look at that. I'm not doing <laughs> Do you know how grubby you can get going to the gym and stuff like that? Um, and not to wash it? No way, Jose! So I cheated and just used a whole lot of like beach, you know, beach hair product. So it's almost like putting sandy water um, into your hair. I was thinking, there's no way that I could walk around with grubby hair for like five days without having to wear a hat. So yeah, look at that. So it gets your hair really flat. And that's what I did. Pumped a whole heap of that stuff. <laughs> oh, they were so thrilled. They said to me, oh, your hair's the most, <laughs> your hair's the most dirtiest hair we've ever seen. But it smells so good. What I do to make sure that my wigs um, don't slip off because my hair's too clean, get it as flat as possible, ponytail it that way, and then flatten it up against my head with clips. And then put a hair net over the top. Sexy. Yeah. Whoa. I just said you do this. <laughs> so that's what I do with the hair. Okay guys, well, yep, that's the whole, oh yeah. And here's the glass, here are the glasses that I duct taped. I did use duct tape, seen it there? Yeah, duct taped them because they were originally white, but I wanted them to be pink because they match my top. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well, better get to work and I'll see you later. Bye!